Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, your Peterson Electric. Uh, it is September 2020, and uh, I wanted to do a video on just kind of layout for a commercial area. Uh, very small, it's just about, oh, I think it's about 600 square foot, but it's just a single heated bay for a boat or an RV. Um, yeah, I got my safety glasses on just so you see, and my gloves. Um, but anywho, we are piping here today. What the customer wanted to do was to have these walls of light on, that back one separate and the other wall. Easiest way to do that was to pipe down, make sure you size your pipe accordingly and come down. We could do a three-way switch from here to the other side, but there's only one entrance right here. Go ahead and show them. That's it. So you really don't need a three-way, you could do a single pull. But he wanted a bunch of plugs. So we just kind of kept it all uniform the same. Uh, he's going to build a platform up here later. So we agreed upon around eight, eight and a half foot. So I brought my eight foot ladder and put a laser up there. And my green laser is amazing. So I like to use this hoopar. Got to watch your eyes out for this, but this thing is phenomenal. Other than if you get the battery backwards. And so I just kind of lasered. When that light turns off, it's a motion sensor. You could see it a lot better, but I lasered everything coming down. So when I did my pipe, so when I put it up at 10 foot, it was able to shoot that all the way around the same. And laser out my box is the same as you can see as well. So that is my suggestion for you. You'll watch your eyes out with that thing. But um, yeah, so when you pipe over, this is a three-phase panel, 12208Y system. Just simply piped up into here so we could deliver both ways, come back down. And this is where he wanted his switches. Well, we put in three switches and three plugs with the GFI protection there. He already has an RV hookup, so he didn't need that. But that was the only power he had in the garage was right there. Uh, we tried to talk him into some high bays because I have a, a, a genie lift that'll go that high. I probably would have needed about four. Um, but he said he'd rather have the lights lower and come out, especially because he's going to have a platform. My assumption is later I'll come out of that box or that box and go up to the platform and do some more lights and continue off of that switch leg. As fact, the power too. That'll be fairly easy. So... Yeah, so uh, hopefully that'll help you guys out. Just kind of lay out. Just keep keep thinking about how you're going to pull your switch leg back and forth. Of course, three-way could go over there to here or just two single poles. Uh, that is the end of the circuit over there, but we are going to pull a couple circuits. So, Thanks, guys, for joining us. Have a good one.